going to just accept the first challenge that I see. And uh, wow, that was a quick start. First Nobel Raider. Avenge 05 from Russia. Uh, we got ourselves a London system. My opponent is playing very quickly. Um, but this is not considered the most accurate way of playing as white. Because queen b6, um, especially then queen b3, c4, queen c2, bishop f5 is considered quite comfortable for, for black. And here, here now that b3 has been forced, uh, that is forever going to be uh, a slight weakness in white's position. And that means that although the um, um, white is, clearly has no particular problems, it means that I have some prospects long term. And I got to say, as I've said before, I feel like my opponent is playing a bit too quickly here, especially this last move, rook ac1. Because um, there are some things to consider here, uh, especially bishop to a3. The obvious response would then be rook c2, but that would lose to either knight takes d4 uh, or knight b4, um, both moves attacking the rook and um, basically trapping the rook and um, ensuring that my rook from c8 will take the rook on c2 later on. Uh, the question is whether I can gain it, anything from bishop a3, rook d1, and so on. Um, knight takes e5, d takes e5. My knight is attacked, so I don't win a pawn. Mm, probably I don't gain a whole lot, but I will do it anyway. Um, bishop a3, a rook, rook to d1, and I will probably go queen to a5. Uh, continuing to hunt those pawns. Uh, rook b1 is also natural. Kind of, uh, kind of didn't consider that. Now with queen a5, I feel like b4 could be, um, could be seriously inconvenient for me. Um, okay, let me uh, try and reroute the pieces instead. Bishop a3, that was a clear, clear case of long, long think, wrong think, because I ended up playing a, a sub par move there. Now I've at, le I've at least opened up the um, the attack on the on the on the C file. So although, and this trade I'm fa fairly happy with, just getting his knights away from uh, from E5, um, and generally trades here are pretty good for me, seeing as um, I will be um, doing well in an ending because of my superior pawn structure. Um, he does have a little trick here which is rook to b3, or I actually have a trick because rook b3 looks strong, right? If you'd played rook b3, a b4, c b4, I cannot take on b4 with a bishop because of a3, and that bishop cannot move because of the pin on my queen. Um, but it turns out that I can put the bishop on c1 instead. Uh, only square that it has, but it's a good square. And um, later on, I can potentially trade the bishop for his knight, and I will be um, I will be having a um, better pawn structure there. I think again, he should have gone rook b3 here, because um, uh, this trade is is very good for me, seeing as I have the more compact pawn structure, and his pawn on d4 is. Um, going to be weak until the day it eventually falls. And his, um, um, his pawn on a2 may be weak as well. Um, yeah, I do have the option of going knight to h5, looking for some tricks like bishop e3, rook takes e3, followed by queen takes d2, or knight b3, rook takes d3, followed by knight takes f4. But after bishop g5, I don't see it. f6 runs into queen takes g6. So I can't really do that. So I'll do rook to c8 instead. Often the most natural move is, is just the best. Now rook c1 may be a bit of a threat. So I expect him to move his 
denied either to F3 or to B3. Probably, probably F3. Um, and then I will almost certainly play knight E4, um, exploiting the fact that that square is no longer protected by, um, um, by one of his, um, uh, by, by his knight. Uh, I think maybe queen a6 is not stupid here. I could have gone queen a7, forced the trade. Then he goes rook takes c8, rook takes c8, knight f3. And my queen may not be doing all that much on, on a7. It feels like it's a bit more active on a6. And it also um, opens up the possibility of playing um, bishop to d6 later on. Uh, once again, Trading, trading pieces should be good for me, seeing as I have the better pawn structure and therefore better prospects in the, in the ending. Uh, also, the, uh, one advantage of putting the queen on a6 is that I protect the c8 square, so now I can, I can just kick his queen away. Um, my opponent is playing well, though. Um, I think he's a little bit worse, but it's not a lot. And um, that's not a bad position to be in at this point. I may have a threat here, which I think he missed. Um, knight c3 and now knight e2 is a very strong threat. Uh, picking up his bishop. If he moves the bishop, I will go knight to e2. And then I will play the bishop to d6 with check. And I will take on d4 with the knight. Opening an, an attack up from the queen to a6, attacking f1. Uh, his rook there, and as far as I can see, I'm oh rook c1 is maybe possible now. Or, sorry, rook e1. If knight e2, um, knight e2 he will take and then take the bishop on a3. So that is probably the only way not to lose material immediately. Uh, I do think, however, after um. Rook to e1, bishop to f8. I will win a pawn because I'm threatening both knight to e2 and taking the pawn on a2. So first tangible result of um, of the little pressure I've had here is um, is the win of a pawn, and um, that is nothing to to sneeze at, I believe. Um, yeah, we trade. And now I should eventually, uh, probably not knight c3 because of rook c1. Now I should eventually be able to, uh, to convert. Happy to play f6, taking control over uh, both the, um, the squares his knight could possibly jump to. And um, uh, yeah, later on I will probably knight d3 here. Trying to reroute that knight. Um, bishop d4. Trying to make at least pseudo active moves. Some point I have to speed up, but for the moment, looks like he's doing more some time than I am. Okay, he found a good good sequence here. Rook a6. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. Um, now I just have to protect and start all over again okay we'll go king f7 the bishop on b4 is protected next i will go rook e7 if he trades rooks i'm happy with that since his rook was the active one and then i'll bring bring my king around and i should eventually win this game okay um can trade but also just working the king up seems fine King c4, now I think d4 is falling. And uh, yeah, bishop c3 seems cleanest, take on d4 next. And um, two pawns off is um, at least one too much. Uh, yeah, wherever I can flag or can win on the board. It's a nice situation to be in. Okay, uh, good game by my opponent. And I think uh, also a very decent game from 
an instructional point of view because uh, it showed the the value of, um, of the pawn structure and that is eventually what uh, decided this game 